Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a brand new video for you. Today, as you see from the title, the theme is Vinyl Finds from August 2020. Hope you're all doing well whenever it is you're watching this. Yeah, so August 2020, got quite a few uh, pickups here and wanted to share them with you. So let's go ahead and jump into it without further ado. Uh, the first one I got here is a new release. This is something uh, my record store owner suggested to me and then I went was scrolling through Facebook. Uh, I saw some other people sharing this one as well, so I had to pick it up and that is the new release from the Fontaine's DC a Hero's Death. Uh, Fontaine's DC are kind of a British post-punk kind of group. Uh, wasn't familiar with them before. They have very sort of a speak singing kind of post-punk sound. Uh, yeah, really, really neat. It's kind of something that's outside of my normal wheelhouse. It's not electronic. It's not. It's not folky. It's you know. It's kind of. Uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely in the post-punk post-punk with a heavy emphasis on punk kind of feel uh, but really it just has a, a really kind of introspective kind of feel I guess the best way to put it uh, very fitting for these times we're in right now and yeah I really really was glad to uh, be able to pick this one up and check it out been enjoying spinning it as I said the the, the way the world is right now and all the strife and stuff it's uh, definitely fitting I guess is the best way to put it liner notes here and some lyrics as well and it's on black vinyl pressed it gz i don't know if there were any colored pressings of this available or anything i just uh, grabbed it off of amazon quickly since it was sold out at the record store so went ahead and just did that uh, so yeah, that was a fun pickup. Uh, this next one was a pre-order I did, a band I, I've grown to love in recent years, uh, and that is the new one from The Glass Animals, and it's titled Dreamland, just released in August. Uh, Glass Animals are a uh, psych pop group, I guess is the best way to put it, psychedelic pop. Uh, really catchy, really groovy, uh, definitely has a lot of hip-hop influence as well. Yeah, I just I dig this group a lot, uh, and I was looking forward to this release. And the the uh, title the, or the first track they released uh, is was Your Love, and I've been listening to that on repeat for several months now since it was released, and I've been excited and uh, patiently waiting for this album to come out, um, and it finally did. And the inner sleeve on this has some more more artwork, and there definitely are a lot of '90s references. Uh, in the music on this so it kind of has a, a 90s sort of look to it and then this also included a poster and on the other side has lyrics and then this is another one that was pressed at GZ vinyl uh, but mastered at Sterling Sound See, so yeah, that's a new one from Glass Animals. I love this album. It's it's a, it's a great album. Uh, if, you've, if you've liked their stuff in the past, you'll probably like this. Or if you think you might like some psychedelic pop, uh, check this one out. It's good. All right, last month I shared with you uh, Kelly Finnegan, the lead singer from the group The Monophonics, and I was able to pick up their new album this month as well. It was re released earlier in 2020, but it is from 2020. This is their new album uh, titled It's Only Us. There are, I believe, four different cover photos here, so it might not look the same always, but um, Monophonics are kind of a psychedelic soul group, mostly soul, but it does have some psychedelic kind of moments to it. Uh, really, really great music. You know, if, you, if you dig soul music, uh, as I said, we're, feeling, we're all feeling kind of introspective and stuff nowadays, so this kind of music is just where I'm at. Um, really nice gatefold on this one. A uh, really nice tip-on jacket as well. And then as I said, the cover, there's four different covers. This is this pulls out and you get the full picture. Uh, yeah, kind of weird. It's just a pull-out inner sleeve, but the record isn't actually in there. This goes in the front of the cover. Um, so yeah, that's just sort of in there by itself. Would have been nice if they would have given you all four pictures and you can choose what you want in here. That would have been nice. Or at least two, you know, one on each side of the the inner sleeve there, but they didn't do that. Um, this is also pressed on colored vinyl, and I believe there's 
four or five different colors for the first 1500 copies of the album randomly inserted there's no way of telling um, what else was I gonna say I think that's it they're all they're all sort of marbled colors and this one's I got is kind of the marbled purplish color uh, really nice color there I'll see that's the monophonics it's only us I think this was released around March or April sometime a few months back but uh, definitely a 2020 album so this one might end up in my uh, year-end list definitely has uh, has been good to me and I've been enjoying it so check that one out if you haven't already if you're into soul music definitely check out the monophonics I highly recommend them and the Kelly Finnegan I shared last month also very good uh, next I have to share with you is uh, the the vinyl me please album of the month for August and this is probably the, the last one I'm gonna get for a, a while unless they put out something that I'm willing to spend over forty dollars for which is gonna be pretty tough uh, but it's, it's always a possibility, but for now, this is the final one for me. Uh, this is the uh, re-release of Buena Vista Social Club from uh, 96, 97. Uh, yeah, just some really, really well-played, well well-recorded Cuban music uh, done with Ray Cooter. Uh, they, went, they went to Cuba and set up some recording sessions and played a lot of, a lot of Cuban music in it sounds really nice really enjoyable uh, nice gatefold here so it does include a booklet with some photographs and then it talks about uh, the history and what this what each song is about and uh, the, the performers and their 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 sort of history with music and whatnot uh, so really nice and detailed so it's fun to it's fun to read through this while I was listening to the music so we got that uh, this one came with a photograph, or not a photograph, but a, a, a pen and ink kind of drawing here by Vincent Valdez. A really nice scene of Cuba there. Um, and then this is a 2LP set at uh, 33 and a third RPM. And it is pressed on sort of a reddish brown, maybe a Maybe a tobacco leaf covered colored vinyl not sure what they were going for here but it definitely fits the fits the colors on the album and and whatnot um, again a GZ vinyl pressing uh, so yeah that's the uh, Buena Vista Social Club the final for now uh, vinyl me please release for me in my collection all right and then the last new album I picked up is also a new release for August I believe and that is the latest album by Washed Out titled Purple Moon Washed Out are a dream pop group uh, really really enjoyable chill out dream pop kind of music if you've liked Washed Out in the past this is, this is kind of along the same lines they haven't really changed their sound too much uh, really enjoyable they did change their sound the past couple of albums a little bit uh, but they're kind of back to where they were they're back on sub pop they're back to where they were uh, if you remember the album within and without they did back in around 2013 ish I think is when that was from uh, very similar here you know the, the album artwork and the colors on here kind of give you that sort of chill out dream pop kind of vibe and that's what you're getting here uh, really nice release from them this comes with an insert with another kind of dark moody kind of vibe there and then some lyrics on the back of it and then since this is sub pop in the first pressing I always do colored vinyl for the first pressing and this is done on clear vinyl crystal clear vinyl and yes pressed at RTI or at least at least the stampers were made at RTI it has the RTI markings on it I believe it was probably pressed there as well so yeah the new one from washed out purple moon definitely dig it if you like washed out in the past if you like dream pop check this one out it's been good um, okay this next stack I have here is from sound exchange in Tampa we, we went to Central Florida to go to dinosaur world and that was a lot of fun uh, a friend of ours kid had a birthday party there uh, so that was that was fun to go check out I'd never been there before um, and on the way back you know driving right by sound exchange on i-75 there so 
got to stop off and go to sound exchange it was it was easy enough to stop off on the way back uh, and picked up a bunch of stuff uh, i think all came from their their three dollars and under bin i guess is the best way to put it their bargain bin uh, first one i have here is actually an upgrade copy for me of richie haven's alarm clock album i absolutely love this album this is an excellent richie haven's album um, and as i said this is an upgrade for me my my other my other copy is okay, but not as nice as this one. And so for uh, $2, I was able to upgrade this to a much nicer copy. And uh, yeah, really dig this album. Uh, there's a really cool synth track on here called End of the Seasons, the last track on side A that I really love. Uh, but through and through, this is a good good Richie Havens album, great, great folk album. Uh, so pick that one up. Uh, this next one was probably my favorite find. Um, always on the lookout for Patrick Cowley stuff. And I found one of his... Uh, full-length LPs. This is Megatron Man, and they had this marked at 99 cents. That's killer. Um, Patrick Cowley stuff doesn't, it's not super expensive, but it's not super cheap either if you go to buy it on like Discogs or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I was really, really glad to find this uh, early on. You know, uh, Patrick Cowley is kind of very early in the dance music scene. Uh, this is from 1981, and some really great uh dance music on here so yeah really really glad to have found this and as i said this is probably my my favorite find of the day for 99 cents yeah i was really happy to find that one so that was that made it worth stopping off at sound exchange uh totally worth it uh this next one i picked up it was another blind buy wasn't sure what i was getting just looked interesting and for a dollar 99 i thought i'd give it a try and that is the group blue magic uh, they are on Atco Records from 1974. Uh, kind of just a soul group. Uh, it definitely has a sort of a throwback kind of feel to it a little bit for me. I wasn't, I wasn't that into it. It's very, it's very friendly, kind of approachable kind of music here. Not real, not nothing real heavy or in your face. It's just very, very chill, relaxing kind of soul music so probably won't end up keeping this i didn't like it too much but it was it was fun to pick up and uh, give a spin to next one i picked up at sound exchange there got some jazz here on the uh, versatile label which i don't think i've seen before uh, this is grant green's easy cool sort of train themed cover on there so that that drew my eye in and it's grant green and it's always enjoyable to listen to some jazz jazz uh, jazz guitar from him i do like the way the cover is on this and yeah just some really nice uh jazz guitars and uh, enjoyed listening to this one i also got uh hank crawford's on here jorge dalto karen joseph and buster williams Another $2 pickup, always on the lookout for Harry Belafonte albums. At this point, the easy ones to find, I have them all, uh, but his 80s work is, is definitely more limited, and this one is uh, his, uh, titled Loving You Is Where I Belong, we're from the 81-ish, yeah, 81. Uh, See, so yeah, at this point, Harry Belafonte, I, I don't know if it was pressure from the record company or what, he was doing a lot more sort of loungy very adult contemporary kind of music and it was just it's it's sad to hear these i collect these for collection's sake but overall for the most part these songs are not just not great they have a very 80s adult contemporary sound to them and yeah i'm looking for the the more folksy storytelling kind of stuff that that harry belafonte did in his early days and unfortunately at this point he just wasn't doing that anymore so an enjoyable listen it's it's nice to hear his voice it's nice that he was still able to uh you know be a performer but yeah this is just more for collection sakes and, uh, and the last thing i picked up there at sound exchange uh, another one for the reba mcintyre collection i believe this is her self-titled uh from 1988 uh, yeah definitely has a very a very pop sound to it it's not real country at all this is at the time period when when country went really hard into the pop realm um, so yeah it's not great um, she does a cover of respect here which is okay um, but yeah not not great 
but it was fun to it's fun to be able to hear this one and check it out and, and it was another two dollar pickup so those were my pickups from sound exchange nice cheap visit i also picked up a uh, criterion collection blu-ray that i was looking for so that was that was nice to find that there that's another thing i like about uh, sound exchange is they have a criterion section so if you're, you're a movie collector uh, that's a fun place to go because you can get some really good deals on criterions there uh, these next three i picked up at the uh, the hospice thrift store here in town uh, this first one here is a compilation titled Music and Rhythm on the PVC Records label. Uh, Benefit Double LP for a world mu of music, arts, and dance, I believe. Yeah. Um, so you got a lot, of, a lot of great artists on here. Peter Gabriel, XTC, Pete Townsend, Peter Hamill, Holger Zuke, um, and a lot of other. David Burns on here, and several other artists that I don't know as I don't recognize. So it'll be fun to listen to this. I'm sure this is some great '80s, '80s alt pop kind of stuff uh, that I'll pretty pretty likely will enjoy. And uh, to be able to pick that up for a buck was nice. Two up piece set there. Uh, next up was a really nice copy of this album by Melanie, Leftover Wine, live live concert she did around 1970 I think uh, yeah just super clean I may already have a copy of this but I wasn't sure and for 99 cents I thought I'd go ahead and grab it and if not I can always throw it in the discog store so I grabbed that one and the last one I picked up there at the hospice um, was a Weavers at Carnegie Hall album on Vanguard oh, it's got a little bit of damage here at the top but otherwise in pretty nice shape so yeah, for 99 cents, I'm not gonna leave a leave a Weaver's album behind. So I grabbed that one. Um, okay, and this last stack I have here are some finds from Goodwill. Haven't been turning up too much lately at the Goodwill, but I did have one day where I found about six albums here, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into what I found. First one here was a pretty cool one. This one was still sealed. This is Oscar Peterson, uh, Big Four in Japan, 82. Still sealed on the Pablo label. Feels like a two LP set. Uh, Oscar Peterson, Joe Pass, Niels Peterson, and Martin Drew. That should be a pretty, pretty fun one. I'm not sure. I might, I might try to sample this and see if I can find it online somewhere before I crack it open and decide whether I want to keep it sealed and uh, try and sell it, or whether it's something I want to open up and uh, listen to myself. But that was a nice find anyway. Goodwill. Uh, next one is a, I believe this is a Canadian pressing, as a Canadian pressing of Robin Trower's Back It Up. Do, I do enjoy Robin Trower and uh, hadn't, hadn't seen or heard this one before, so I thought I would grab it and give it a try. So that was a nice Goodwill find. Uh, another piece of jazz here. I don't think I have any Art Tatum before, before this. Uh, this is Art Tatum's Piano Magic um, on the upfront label. So I thought that was a neat find. Check out some Art Tatum. Haven't yet checked that one out. Um, always talk about the National Geographic releases, uh, vinyl releases that they did. And this is one I don't think I have so far. Uh, Steamboats a coming. So steamboat themed music uh, compiled by the National Geographic Society. And then as al as always, uh, they put a put a nice. Uh, a booklet inside with photographs and artwork and and you know writing kind of explaining the music and and what it's about and stuff so yeah some steamboat steamboat themed music from National Geographic so that was a nice one to uh, add to my National Geographic collection uh, next one is one I've passed on several times before but I thought I'd just go ahead and grab it I haven't I haven't really had this on vinyl before. Not sure if I'll keep it forever, but it's fun to have and spin from time to time. Uh, and that's Rappin' Duke, the 12 inch single. The John Wayne kind of themed hip hop track that was released in, uh, oh, I don't know when this was released. Sometime in, sometime in the 80s, 80, 83, 84 probably. Uh, but yeah, just the 12 inch single to Rappin' Duke. Um, then the last thing I picked up for August, last thing from Goodwill there, is a compilation on Mercury Records. This is Mercury Galaxy 30. A nice compilation of stuff on Mercury Stereo. Uh, 
releasing. Yeah, I really just dig the Mercury label at this time. They were doing really high quality pressings, high quality recordings, and uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was just nice to nice to be able to pick this up and and spin it and listen to it. It does have a nice booklet inside talking about uh, all the different artists on here. Um, yeah, a lot of great stuff on here. Uh, Xavier Cugat, Brooke Benton, Patty Page, Dinah Washington, uh, Sarah Vaughn, Quincy Jones, The Platters, George Jones, uh, Demita Joe, Clyde McFadder, Antal Dorati. Lots of great artists on here and a fun, fun sort of tour through this uh, late, late 50s, early 60s kind of music. So that does it for my August finds. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. As always, please subscribe if you aren't already so you can be kept up to date with future videos I make. Have a great day, a great night. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. And we'll see you again next time. Cheers.